Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so this week, believe it or not, we are already approaching a Valentine's Day. The new year is flying by, almost the end of January here, so I thought we'd get romantic with a little painting of some swans in the moonlight. And I have my four standard brushes for today's class. So I have my large square brush, medium-sized uh, pointed brush, and then two small detail brushes. Gonna get those in the water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that I have to start today's background step, I have some white, red, a little bit of ultramarine blue, and some purple. I also have an unconventional tool today. This is just the lid of a candle, uh, and it is a circular shape that I'm going to use to draw my moon. And you can use any circular shape that you have in your house, or you can even use one of those fancy compasses uh, like the mathematicians use. <laughs> uh, just something circular. All right, so I'm gonna uh, have that uh, offhand here as well. And if you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that I use and recommend, check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so I'm going to grab my second to smallest detail brush here, and I'm going to start with a light blue color. And I'm going to go pretty light with this. And I'm going to do my horizon line. This is going to kind of give me a sense of place here in my uh, background and in my little scene. I'm going to go about a third of the way up. And I'm going to try to do as straight of a line across as I can. We will have various opportunities to correct the straightness of this horizontal line at different points. So do not fret if it is not as straight as you'd like it now. Great. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull in my circular object. Again, just using a big candle lid here. And I think I'm actually gonna do a dead center moon here. And I'm going to trace out my moon shape here with a gorgeous pink. And pink, I just have red and white together on that same brush. I did rinse it. Coming in with that clean pink color. And now I have my beautiful shapes here blocking out where I'm gonna go. That's gonna be my moon setting on the horizon. And down here we'll have a little bit of reflection in our water as well. So pretty. All right, now, Gonna get into the fun stuff here. We're gonna start spreading those colors. Gonna grab my large brush here and a little bit of water. And I'm gonna start with a blue with just a tiny pinch of white in it. So mostly dark blue. And I'm gonna take this beautiful, what's well, a sky color here, into the corners here on either side. Curving, already starting to go in that circular pattern around our big circle here in the center. Okay, a little bit more white. Now I'm gonna come in with a lighter blue. It's not quite different enough. There we go. And with that lighter blue, I'll take that right next to the darker blue, which is going to just be the darkest shade there in the corner. Okay, like so. Feel free to add more dark blue on top if you need. And bringing it then to a light blue, working on a gradation. Okay, gradation there from the dark blue to a light blue. Nice, and then since we have our water down here, our swans are living in their little pond, we're gonna pull those top colors down below. 
but rather than going in that circular shape, we're gonna keep things horizontal. So we're gonna be just going back and forth here, horizontal brush strokes, and I have that vibrant blue, which I'm going to take down into the two corners. And then I'll take a lighter blue right next to it. And I think it's time to switcheroo here to my medium sized brush. And a little bit more light blue here. And kind of blend this into each other but by using the back and forth brush strokes. Dark blue there in the corners, and a little bit along the bottom. And then you sort of have that scoop shape here with the light blue. Great, looking good. Working our way from the outside in today. Rinsing my brush, grabbing some purple now. I think I'll add a pinch of white into this as well. And I'm gonna take that purple here pretty much right next to my light blue. Beautiful. And blend it into my light blue just like we blended our light blue and dark blue, but this time it's a little bit harder, a little bit trickier because we're working now with a little bit of a warm tone with the purple. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I'm bringing my color all the way down over here, all the way down to the horizon line. And then blending that into the purple. Very pretty colors. Very romantic for our Valentine's Day. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my purple down into my water as well. Right over to the other side. And I think I'll take a little bit of dark blue here for the outside edge. So that I'm blending a nice dark blue into my watercolors here colors of my water and paint it with acrylics. You could paint probably with mm, watercolors, not exactly the same way. Take it back. <laughs> okay, that's looking pretty good. Liking it. And a little bit more blending down here. Cute. Okay, and now we have just the area near our moon left, which we're gonna do with a beautiful pink right along our moon outline. Beautiful color. Right to the outline there. I'm going to blend that into the purple. Blending, blending, don't be afraid to go in all the way to that color. Working pretty quick here with our acrylic paint, which dries pretty fast. And just remember, there's no such thing as perfection. <laughs> All right, I like it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more light blue. 
over here. Just make sure things are nice and blended out. Okay. Looking good, I just cleaned my brush. And now I'm gonna take this pink right next to the outline here in the bottom water part. And I still want these brush strokes to go back and forth. Even though we're going around the outside rim of that circle, a little bit of reflection coming to the side as well, sort of blending all those sunset colors together, or, or moonrise colors, I suppose. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue dark blue right along my horizon just to make sure that I do have a nice line of separation there and this is going to be our water so we can also have a few brush strokes already starting to layer even though this layer isn't quite dry yet, it's good to add a little bit of darker shadow here to give our water some movement. Play in here just with the dark blue. Looking good. All right, I like it. All right, let's go ahead and finish up our background step here with just our moon. And I'm going to grab mostly white, the little bit of pink, very, very light pink here, and get that mostly filled in solid with that off-white light pink color, just setting it right into the water here. Okay, plenty of paint on there. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of pink and I'm gonna add some craters. I don't wanna add too much. Just by kind of dotting them across the moon here, kind of squiggling my brush, creating some texture and some shadow. Okay, just a little bit of moon texture and then a couple brush strokes kind of maybe to one side to give your moon a little bit of roundness. It's looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and step away for a minute and we'll let this layer dry and then we'll come back and add a whole bunch more. I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and the same colors that I have in my palette paper from before plus black. Um, so once again, that's just a little bit of ultramarine blue, some purple or violet, some red, and then also some white and black. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back on into it. I think I'm gonna grab my uh, second to largest pointed brush here. And I'm gonna start out with a little bit of pink. And I'm going to go with this light pink right around my moon in the little pink section that I have. And I'm going to add some deliberate brush strokes here. You don't have to do 
<laughs> this step if you don't want to. If you think it looks silly or too stylized and you really love your gradation, then you can go ahead and just keep it. But I like to have a little bit of the fun sort of fantasy cartoon look. So I'm gonna go into my gradation here. I'm gonna add a lot of these colors back now with this second layer. So a little bit of purple now as well in the little purple section. Just graceful little brush strokes coming into that pink section as well. So a little bit of that gradation look. And then I'm gonna take those same colors down into my water with some back and forth brush strokes, keeping things horizontal. And we can go ahead and start to bring some of these colors into our moon as well, just that bottom part. We can even do a little bit of pink reflecting in the water as well. Okay, taking those colors from above, pulling them into our water. Very romantic and pretty. I can do a little bit more purple down here in my water. Yeah, a little bit of purple coming into my light blue as well. There we go, looking good. A little bit less white, so I want that purple to show up on my blue. Very nice. I think that looks nice. Cute. Okay. And a little bit of, we'll do dark blue as well, but let's do some light blue. that we blend nicely there with our purple. And then just bring that into your water if you need it. Bringing those lines right to the horizon. to the purple with the blue. Okay. I think a little bit of this light blue through my moon as well. Just kind of all the colors from the top reflecting down into that area. And a little bit of dark blue as well. Looks really nice as a second layer there, I think. A nice little bit of shadow sort of frames the whole little romantic scene with our swans. Cute, cute, cute. And a little bit of dark blue along the horizon line coming into the moon. A few brush strokes of my dark blue down in my water as well. And 
Okay, not too much because I want to still see my nice reflection there of my moon. Kind of finding the horizon line again. And just bringing that dark blue into the sort of outside edges around here as well. Okay, looking good. Like it. I think I'm gonna grab my second to smallest detail brush now. And with a little bit of just a slightly darker pink, just going to find the outline of my moon again just to make sure that that's nice and clean and that it really pops against its background there. Okay. Looking good. I think I'm gonna use that same brush now for the most important part, which is going to be our swans. Now, I'm gonna go straight in with the black here, but Feel free to start with a different color, like a white or a pencil, or even just a brush with no paint and just water on it. Or practice the shape on the side, if you'd like. Or you can just jump right in with me <laughs> and do it with the black paint, but gotta be brave. Okay, so the whole idea here is that we're getting a cute little heart shape, right? So. My heart shape of my two swans, I want that to be centered here in the moonlight. So you can either start with your left hand swan or your right hand swan, whatever you feel like, but I think I'm gonna start with my left hand swan. And I'm going to do essentially like an S and curve my way down here, which is sort of like half of a heart, right? And then sort of flatten out a little bit, almost like a little boat. And then we'll have a cute little swan tail. Bring that line in. We have that little first shape there. Okay, and then this top part here, we're gonna have a little head. And the beak is actually going to ever so slightly curve the other direction. I'm going to fill that in ever so delicately. Feel free to use your smaller brush even. Downgrade to this size. And start small. Come back and thicken that shape up. And as you do that, you can sort of finesse it, right? Long, graceful neck, but not too skinny. Sort of building as I go. Little bit by bit. All right, looking pretty good. Make that shape a little bit bigger. But that looks just about right. I think I'll just do one more little finesse here. I got a little bit of water. You want to have just the right amount of water. Not too much. Not too little. Okay. Very cute. 
going to grab my second to smallest detail brush just to fill in this little swan body real quick as well. And then we'll have our first super cute swan shape. floating on our pond. Look at how cute. All right. And just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, not totally, <laughs> but I want to just correct that as best as I can. And since it's just such a bold contrast there of the black on the white, we do want a nice, clean swan shape. Okay, and I'm going to have some reflection there too, but I think I'm going to switch over to the other swan for now. And I have my second to smallest brush in my hand, and I seem to want to do it with that. So I'm going to go with my heart here. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing where I start with an S shape and work my way down there to meet it. And I wanna create that little heart shape there. And then I wanna end the swan at the same level as the other swan. But I am going to make this swan slightly bigger. Okay, because they're two different shapes if you want, or if you're the same size as your partner, you could make it the same. However you like, cute little swan tail, and then a nice curve here for the body as well. And then we're gonna thicken up the neck, create a little base up here. And remember the beak is going to be slightly curved going towards the other swan just starting with that basic shape and then I can come back and thicken it up starting small thickening it as I go And I am still using that same brush, but feel free to use your smaller brush. Looking cute. Maybe a little bit thicker neck. A little bit bigger head. Pretty cute. <laughs> Two swans. Okay. And then I'm gonna get that shape all filled in as well. Just with my black. And just a tiny bit of water. They almost look like little rubber duckies is what it reminds me of. <laughs> but there's swans. This one is a little bigger than I would have liked. So in fact, I might even just make her a little bit bigger to compensate here. And just as needed. I think swans are a pretty good size though. So we're definitely still looking swan-like, but a little bigger. Than I wanted, that's okay. There we go just balance things out a little bit. And then right underneath, I'm gonna do 
their reflection. So I'm going to start with a few horizontal lines right underneath them. And then I'm actually going to have the inverse image here of their necks. We're going to come up and around and make a little bit of that inverted heart. Up and around. Just a little bit of back and forth brush strokes on either side. You see we're sort of mimicking the shape from above. And the reflection here of the water. Okay, looking very cute. Okay. And I think I'll add a little bit more light blue here in my water, just to have a nice little final reflective element. Help me sort of break that area up slightly. And since the water is blue, right? So do a little bit of reflection there of the sky. Cute. And how about a little bit more pink reflection in there as well. Just right in the center there. It's a nice little highlight. And just to get a little more of that romantic pink color in. Very pretty. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a dark blue as my final touch here. Very dark. I'm going to do a few little brush strokes on the outside edge just to sort of give me a little bit of a nice frame effect. And I'll take a few of those darkest blue brush strokes on the outside edges as well. Just a little bit of night coming in there. All right. Very cute. If you painted along today, I do have a Facebook group called The Art Club that's designed for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along with me or from just your own imagination. I'd love to see it, love to have you over there. And that is all the instruction that I have for us this week. So let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. Please hit like if you liked it. And until next time, happy painting and stay creative.